Every roll I take. Every roll I take. Hey guys, welcome to Cosplay Life. I'm Air Bear, and today we're gonna to be talking about how I attach my poison ivy armor. Now, when I first started making the armor, I went online and I looked up how to attach the armor because it just was not making any sense to me how it was going to stay up. And I didn't really find very many solutions, so I was just like, let me just figure it out. Unfortunately, I didn't record a lot of what I did in order to make it work, so I'm just gonna talk through the things that I did to attach my armor and kind of go over the things that work well about that way and the things that didn't go so well. So here we go. I have my costume, I have my box of armor, and I have discovered in the last take that I need to put on the costume. So hold it right there. Movie editing magic. Magic. So I have my costume on. Let's start from the top. Start with pauldron. Pauldron. Okay. So the way that I attach the pauldron is I had an elastic that went under my arm, and I had a piece of Velcro that I contact cement glued here, and I sewed it onto my bra strap that is on my shoulder. I would highly recommend if you have anything that you want to stay on your body that you sew it on because sewing is not going to come off, at least not easily. So I just put it up here, stick it right underneath there, and then I anchor it in place using the Velcro. And that is how I kept the pauldron on. And as far as like this situation, I loved it because it gave it enough mobility so that if someone knocked into it, it could move a little bit so it wouldn't just break. But it still always stayed in place so that I knew if I had a picture to take, it wasn't going to be like way down here or facing the wrong direction. That's what this anchor point is for, like the place where it's anchored onto my bra strap. That's what that's for. And when I remade another pauldron for Sith Leia, I did the same thing where I had this elastic strap that just keeps it there. And then I had some extra straps that kind of went with the outfit to kind of make sure that it's always facing in the right direction. That's how I did the pauldron. And I'm, I love the way that this worked out as far as pauldrons go. Let's work our way down. Okay, so the next part of the armor is this midsection and the way that I attach it is using a corset sort of system. So for the corset what I did is I used like a lace-up corset sort of thing to attach it. So I got this quarter inch ribbon and these quarter inch jump rings from Hobby Lobby. Yeah I just strung or stringed or stringed it. I stringed it through and I contact cemented it to the craft foam armor. Then you just lace it up. So the pros of using this sort of closure on your armor, if you gain weight or if you make your armor the wrong size, it is adjustable. So, you know, you'll always fit. Another pro of using this type of closure is that you can show it. You don't have to try to hide it because it's part of the costume, it's part of the design. So some of the drawbacks of using this type of closure, you look down here, I have lost two jump rings. So what happened is that when you pull on it using the string or whatever you're pulling with, sometimes that opening, you see right there, it can open up and then it will just fall out of your Older. And that's what happened to a few of my jump rings. The other major drawback is that it is extremely hard to get on and off. So every time I wanted to go to the bathroom, I needed to get Love Bug to unlace me or lace me back up, which also took forever. So you couldn't go to the bathroom very quickly. You had to plan in advance that you're going to go to the bathroom and you needed someone to take time to put you back into your armors. I would suggest it for using it in a place where you can tie it yourself and where you don't need to take it off in order to go to the bathroom. That is the corset lace-up armor. So the next piece of armor is the thigh armor. So I did the exact same thing with the jump rings and creating like a corset lace-up thing. I also had a piece of elastic about an inch thick on this side to work as kind of like a 
door hinge thingy. It wasn't really necessary. I could have used fabric because the one inch thick elastic with how short it is doesn't actually stretch that much. I used it in there to give me some stretch so that I could pull this tighter. Or I could have used thinner strips of elastic like this so that it actually did stretch and just use more pieces of it. But you live in your life. So that is how this was connected. However, when I put it on, it kept slipping down as I walked. So what I figured out is that I needed something to tie it up with. So I attached this buckle and kind of made it part of the design of the costume to have this buckle attaching the armor to my clothing. This buckle did not work out so well. It worked to keep it up. It did work to keep it up. However, because it's made out of leather, it came off of my armor. And I realize now that I need to glue this furry piece on, not the leather part, because leather does not hot glue. Lesson to learn there. Fake leather and leather do not hot glue. You have to hot glue the piece that's underneath, that furry piece, and that will stick. See this piece? Completely gone. I don't even know where it is. Love Bug ended up safety pinning it in place for me. Yes, that was one of the things about the leather. The other thing is because it's leather, it keeps pulling. So let me show you how it attaches. So the way that this attaches is you put it on here. I forgot to put lotion back on. You put it on here and I have this strap that's sewn onto the inside of my costume. So you put it in there and you strap it in there and that holds it up and keeps it from falling, sort of. Like in theory, it keeps it from falling. What actually happens is that over time, it pulls. And so you constantly have to keep pulling this to retighten it because over time, it's going to pull and it's gonna pull and it's gonna pull until it's eventually too low and then you have to retighten it. It's all because it's made out of leather and it's slippery. It needs something like more traction or something. So the pros of working with this buckle thing are that you don't have to hide it. It's part of the design. You can make it match your costume and you can make it able to show up. The major con is that I did not attach it the right way and so it came off. And also it didn't really do its job for the whole day, like without having to worry about it. I had to keep pulling it up. And, you know, I stayed in costume and I could wear it. It's just that I had to keep readjusting it. So it wasn't the best solution, but it did work. If I were to do it again, what I would like to try is adding quarter inch thick, like this elastic to the back of here and make that attach to my thigh. Like have two straps to that on the back and make it attach to the thigh. And then, and then I had this idea that you can put like vines over the elastic to cover up the elastic and just do it super tight so it stays in place and kind of stays where it needs to be a little bit better. So that is the thigh armor. So the next piece of armor is a shin guard leg piece. Flip it on there. I attached my knee pad to my shin guard to kind of make it all one piece so I didn't have to worry about it detaching. And I would highly recommend doing that, like going ahead and attaching your knee piece to your shin piece so that it's all one piece and you can just do a piece of elastic right here to keep in place. Again, I had that lace up corset thing and elastic on the other side. I also used this to keep up the leg armor because it went there and it kind of just butted up against that and held it and held it up a little bit. Some of the pros about this, about the way to attach this, is all one piece and you know it's going to stay together and stay in place. Yeah, that's the only pro. So one of the things that did not work out so well with this armor is that the uh, elastic became detached on one of the pieces and almost attached on the other one. So Love Bug ended up having to safety pin it into the craft foam. I hot glued it on, which is not the way to attach it. If you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on it, you probably should contact cement it on and then that will hold it in place better. So that was not the way to do that. I could probably also do like, I could probably sew it onto a piece of fabric and then glue the fabric. Yes, I could do that. Okay, so what I could do is make like a giant knee bracelet with this thing and sew the fabric onto the elastic and then glue the elastic to no glue the fabric to the back of the knee pad so that it's all attached and just one giant piece 
That way, if it starts to come undone up here, it's not gonna come undone here because my kneecap is there. So it'll keep it all together. That's my solution. I don't know if it'll work, we'll see. Yeah, let's do the last piece of armor. I need my shoe. The last piece of armor I didn't actually wear is foot armor because I wanted like the whole leg to be covered in armor. The way that this attach <laughs> attaches is you put your shoe on first. This is like my cosplay shoe that I use for every single cosplay. Have this, I have two elastics down here. So again, I did not actually wear this to Dragon Con so I don't know how well it would have held up. These elastics probably would have come, come undone so I probably would need to use something else to attach them because they were also hot glued on. But you know, just like as a starting place, this is how I attached it. You slip this on the toe of your shoe and put that around back. Oh, look, one piece already did come undone. So this next piece goes over it and you put it on and slip it under there. And then that was my shoe armor. See, it just kind of all blended in as one giant armor leg. Pretty cool, right? Works in theory, doesn't actually work in actuality. What happened is that all of this pressure right here was a lot and so it started hurting and that's the reason why I couldn't wear these. Also, this by the end of the day was hurting right here as well. So probably need to figure out something else for that. Probably need to wear boots underneath my armor so that it doesn't cut into me as much. And then I could have worn these. Also, if you buy shoes just for this cosplay, which I didn't have a budget for, you could have just glued your craft foam straight onto your shoe. So that is how I attached all my pieces of armor for point. Oh, no, I forgot these. So the last piece of armor, kind of just forgot about it, is the gauntlet. Gauntlets are like, I love gauntlets because they're super easy and they add a lot to your costume and you can use scrap pieces of foam for it. So the way that I attached that again was with the lacing situation, but I didn't need to take it off in order to go to the bathroom. I just, you know, needed to kind of like make sure I could wash my hands with it still on. But another trick and tip for making gauntlets is if you use thicker foam, like this is that thick cuss foam and you, heat warm it to something that is smaller than your, than the circumfer circumference, I was gonna say circumference, smaller than the circumference of your wrist and your arm, then it's gonna stay in place anyway, kind of like these bracelets do. So even if you do lose your closure and your strapping, you have a backup in that it's not going to fall off just because it's, it's on there. So yeah, that is my tip about gauntlets. I love gauntlets. So as far as attaching pieces of armor, in the future, what something I would like to try is using more quarter inch thick elastic because that works really well. And also using magnets. I've seen a lot of other people use magnets. You can sew the magnet onto your clothing and then glue it onto the armor. So yeah, I would, I would like to try magnets. So another way that I've seen people attach armor is using Velcro. And what they'll do is they'll sew Velcro onto the clothing and then glue Velcro onto their armor piece. The reason why that won't usually work with me is because I'm not usually wearing clothes underneath my armor just because I like to, I like to wear less clothing. It's just a simple fact of who I am. So anytime I can wear less clothing, I can get away with it legally, I'm gonna do it. This is the only place where I had clothing underneath my armor and on the midsection, but if you take your armor off or if you're not gonna be wearing it for a length of time for whatever reason, then you're gonna have spots of Velcro. So you need to consider that when you use Velcro, is do you want those spots of Velcro? If you use magnets, you can put the same piece of fabric over the magnet, or you can just hand sew it into your clothing so that you can't see the magnet if the armor's not on it. You know, like if you're going to the bathroom or if you're gonna be sitting in a panel for a long time, or if you're going to a dance party afterward and you don't wanna dance in armor. All of those things are what happened to me and reasons why I took my armor off and the reason why I want it underneath my armor to still be pretty because I knew that I wasn't going to be wearing my armor all day. But then I ran out of leaves and I didn't make it pretty anyway. Anywho, so yeah, Velcro is another solution. I haven't tried it except here. A lot of times I find that the Velcro doesn't stick to the armor so well, so you probably need to find another way to stick it to your armor. Probably contact cement. Contact cement is basically the solution to every single 
closure problem contact me. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to say. I don't know what it is. Thank you so much for watching. We are very close to 100 subscribers. Yay! And I want to have a pizza party when it happens. So I'm going to get a pizza. You're going to get a pizza. Well, I'm not going to give you a pizza. You're going to go out and get your own pizza or cook your own pizza or make your own pizza. And we're going to have a pizza party because pizza parties are like the most fun thing. So yeah, pizza party for 100 subscribers. If you have any suggestions of better ways to attach armor, go ahead and leave that in the comment section because I'm about to start working on costumes and I have a lot of armor to make and I need some help. So if you have better ways of attaching armor, leave that in the comment section. If you have any questions about anything that you saw in this video, Leave that in the comment section as well and I will try my very best to answer it. If you have suggestions of videos that you'd like to see on this channel, like this video was a suggestion, leave that in the comment section as well. And if I can, I'll make a video. If you like this channel, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also share it with your friends. If you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe. Yes. I am so thankful for all the subscribers who have subscribed, all 98 of you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Deuces. Um.